it is Carol. I'm the creative owner and blogger at Be Inspired Market. I know it's Friday. It's not Tuesday. It's not Thursday. It's Friday. We're actually on late. We have a busy day, but we wanted to come on and craft with you guys. So as you're hopping on, say hi. I have my fiance, Bill. He's watching comments. Hello. So who's surprised that we're on? But uh, while you guys are hopping on, I wanted to give a special shout out to Sue. Sue has sent us so much happy mail. She is a sweetheart. She is in our club um, and she is just amazing. And she consistently sends us gifts and I'm beyond grateful. So she knows that I love, I love Lucy. So she sent me this really pretty card and she found this. So I was super excited. It's a book about Lucy, um, her life. And she said, if you find time, read it. It's really good. So thank you, Sue. And I'm sure she's popping on. Let me see. I wanted to see if I get my camera on. So we what, have um, a fun project. You know what I would project. like to know about Sue? Hmm. If we ever met Sue, mm -hmm. I want her to pronounce her last name. I think it's Archiano. Our, our Sue? 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 <laughs> so who can I say hello to? You guys are all popping on. Sandy Newber. Hey, guys. Surprise. Hey, With much love from Texas. Texas we know yes. Sandy. <laughs> Julie's on. Carol's on. Courtney's on. Uh, Michelle. Awesome. Uh, Danita. Sherry. Sharon. Lots of you guys are popping on. Oh, yeah. So I know you guys are looking at the Christmas tree and going, is she going to? Susan. Susan. <laughs> Thank you for my book, Sue. Um, you're thinking Christmas. We are not doing Christmas. So if those that didn't see, seems to be a little gnome theme going around here. So we did, and I actually hung it up, so I can't even show it to you. You, you should bring it. it. Yeah, you can grab it. Let me go grab so it. So we did a really cute gnome sign yesterday. And today, this morning, I released to you guys my design for essential stencils, which was a gnome. And I hope you guys saw that. If you're interested in essential stencils, you can comment stencil and you'll get a link. The only thing I didn't update is if you use our code for the essential stencils, it's not just $5 off. It's actually 50% off your first order. So what? <laughs> if you go ahead and do that after next week is where you can order, um, you'll be able to get the stencil. So this is the cute little sign we did last night. So if you didn't check that, we did a really cool technique with this transfer. So it was rub on transfer. So go check this out because this one's super fun. And I love it so much. I already hung, had it hung up in our coffee bar area. So that's what we did. Hopefully I don't knock it down. So anytime I see anything pointy, it is a gnome. <laughs> so we are going to use my favorite things today. We're going to use, we're going to make a gnome and we're going to use those biscuits. So stay tuned. So I see all the hearts and the stars. Thanks, guys. Charisse just said, I'm so happy you're on tonight, Carol. One of my friends passed away today. Oh. And then she said, hey, Carol. Hey, Bill. Sorry oh. about that, Charisse. Sorry. Maybe we can cheer you up a little bit. Yes. That's always hard. It is hard. I've lost a lot of loved ones in my, in my 50 years. So... I'm sending you a virtual hug because I know how difficult that is. Sandy said, I feel like a kid on Christmas morning. <laughs> I am so excited. Good. I'm so, so we're going to make a gnome out of this. And I know some of you might be skeptics and saying, how is she going to do this? Again, I've never done this before. It was in my head. I was kind of playing around with it this afternoon. We didn't know if we were going to go live tonight or save it for next week. But we thought, what the hell, we'll just go on live. <laughs> um, okay, so let's get started. I'm going to paint my base black because that's going to be his technically his boots. Um, and then with the biscuits, we're using the same biscuits. So for you ladies that bought those thousand biscuits at Harbor Freight, <laughs> I have uses for it. So I always say, if you follow us, I love to reuse materials i mean just supplies and things i mean how many of us have that craft stash so this way you guys can have another project now he's going to be a little fall gnome i'm not ready to move to christmas we will but we still have plenty of time of fall oops <laughs> so let me get his little 
quote unquote boots. Is that shirt in the market? It is. You're getting a lot of people saying they love your shirt. That oh, shirt yes. is in our market. Go to beinspiredmarket.net and you can find those shirts. This shirt and actually the saying of this shirt is also on our aprons. Now I'm only painting this portion, so otherwise I should put my apron on because I am a messy crafter. But any of our craft sayings are on our aprons and i know some of you have ordered it so if you've ordered it you want to pipe in and let the ladies know what you think or Ooh. even us let us know what you think so these that was a new addition to our our market roxy Bourne said hi carol hi bill hi carol today is my 70th birthday oh happy and I, birthday and i just love your video oh thank you roxy you want me to sing <laughs> Sing, honey. She's 70. Sing. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Yay. Ooh. Stacy said, uh, <laughs> Stacy said, water. Happy Friday. This hey, is such happy a great Friday. surprise. Good. And I'm glad. Did you guys get notifications? Again, I know that Facebook sometimes doesn't do that for you. So I did post a video on the main page that shows you how to set your notifications so that if we ever come live or upload a video, you'll be able to see us. So, because we get that a lot. We do. Like, I haven't seen you. And for some reason, that notification thing can be wonky. Yeah. It's kind of like picky. <laughs> yeah. All I right. like wonky. So, I'm going to, I painted this. Where did you get the tree? Oh, that's a good point. So I got the tree at Hobby Lobby. They already had some Christmas stuff up. Yeah, it was Hobby Lobby. And it was about um, maybe two weeks ago we went to Hobby Lobby. So these trees, I mean, they're super cute as trees as is. Um, there's so many things that you could do for it. I mean, you could put um, ornaments on it. You can decorate it and, and put, you know, those little twinkly lights on it and stuff. So lots of stuff. But... I wanted to do a gnome. <laughs> so, like I said, I'm not ready for Christmas yet. Um, and that's what I was going with. Okay, so I'm actually going to move this to the side. And there was, this one was like a medium one. I think there was one that was maybe larger, but I'm not 100% sure. So, Ooh, Cindy said, what's a biscuit? It's my first time on your page. Well, <laughs> welcome, Cindy. Welcome. Everybody welcome, Cindy. So, biscuits have become very popular here. One, we made a gorgeous biscuit christmas tree for our 12 days of christmas going back to july and we do have a playlist in our video section for the 12 days of, of christmas in july and we it was a gorgeous christmas um tree out of biscuits so what biscuits are they're technically for furniture building they're called joining biscuits they're called joining biscuits well i did a project and these are number 20s and then we're using number 10s as well so these are the ones that are from Harbor Freight. I did have another set of 10s that are from um, Amazon, but everyone said that the Harbor Freight ones were less expensive and they are slightly thicker um, as far as like what they look like. So these are biscuits. So that is what his beard is gonna be. Now, if biscuits aren't for you, you're gonna be able to use the same technique and just use fur. I mean, every gnome has fur, but I'm using biscuits. So. <laughs> I'm going to mix this up. I need a couple 20s. Again, this is coming out of my head, so I played with it a little, but I have never made one. Um, and then I'm taking a couple 10s. So, look, we even did. Oh, and then the other project we did, I forgot to mention, we did the Christmas tree, and then we did this beautiful pumpkin, which, if you're new to us, we do have a blog. It's beinspiredmarket.net, and that beautiful galvanized pumpkin with the copper leaf biscuits is on the blog and so is the christmas tree so you can go over there after the live go check it out there's plenty of diys there and while you're there go enter our 100k giveaway so kimberly said i got my giveaway present today thank you so much i love everything oh you're so welcome that's awesome so welcome we're so happy so, to send it out to you yes and we're excited about the 100k so we did hit 100,000 followers last week or yeah, this week, this week. <laughs> and we're doing a giveaway. We're gonna have a huge party on October 3rd and we're gonna give away a hundred giveaways. And I did double check with Carol the other night we were getting ready for bed <laughs> and I said, you you know, you did say a hundred yeah. giveaways. <laughs> she goes, yeah, I know. 
I go, <laughs> you did 100. You're doing 100? She goes, yeah, I know. And she was all excited. Yes. I know. I'm excited. It's a hundred. I mean, we hit a hundred thousand followers. You got to do a hundred um, giveaways. So that's what we're doing. So if you comment a hundred K, our bot should send you a message or you could simply go to our website and hit the menu and hit a hundred K. All you got to do, there's extra ways to enter and um, enter your email address. So we're keeping everything where it's going to be fair. You don't have to watch a live. You don't have to be present to win. Um, I'll have your information, so if you win, I tell you. But we would love for you to come party with us. Misty said, hey, Carol, I just bought a new heat gun, and it gets really hot. Be very where, careful. Where should I place it when I'm crafting in between using it? To be Okay, so I have my hook. desk, and then I have one of those little hooks, J those hooks. command hooks. Um, so I have that, and that's there's like a little, like mine has a little hanger. So... When I use it, yes, this gets very, very, very hot. So I, see, I even used it and it's still warm. Um, so when I use it, I usually face it this way away from me and then hook it. Because before I did the hook, I have a scar here that is permanent from that heat gun. Because I did something and touched it and that's permanent. So be careful with those. Okay, so his beard is going to be gray. And I, because I'm like, I'm not doing white. So I'm taking... Silver Lining by Waverly, and then I'm taking Elephant by Waverly. I have no rhyme or reason of what I'm doing or how I'm doing it. I'm just grabbing a couple biscuits, and I'm using the baby wipe method, and I'm going to make some light and some dark. Hey, and hope well, for the best. <laughs> and while she's doing that, if you guys are a newbie, comment newbie. And you'll get and a long message. We will, you, we will send you a welcome message. But also, I try to give the newbies a shout on here too. So. Yes. We'll all give you a shout out. So all with the baby wipe method, you're just taking your paint and you're basically rubbing it on. That's all you're doing. And so make sure you go to the sides because you're going to see the sides of the biscuits. And then this is going to look super cute. But hang tight because it might take a while. <laughs> yeah, you're in no hurry. Keep so, spreading that honey. Yes. That's our word here for the sprinkle. So I'm going to keep doing this. For sure. <laughs> sure. Sure. <laughs> Bill tries to push that. So I'm gonna do a couple you guys lights. Know what to do. Yeah. So are you guys surprised to see us on? I think a lot of people Karen, are. Karen McDonald said, Woohoo! I've entered and I'm ready to party. Karen. Yay! We said so it's gonna be an all day event, because the way I think about it, it's gonna take a while to give away a hundred uh, giveaways. And the giveaways are gonna be a mix of my favorite crafting tools. Uh, and then I have uh, some very kind women in the crafting world. Um, some are from Brooks Group, some are from uh, Katie's Group, and they are donating and um, sponsoring the event. They're sending goodies for you guys, so I'm super excited about A it. A few of them are. The yes. rest of them we're purchasing. We already have ideas. Yes. You guys are going to love it. If you're not sure what maybe you're new maybe something else <laughs> go to the blog post top 10 supplies yeah carol's top 10 crafting supplies <laughs> yeah if you haven't out. checked out the blog that'll give definitely. you a little hint yeah we're super excited about it so and we'll Randy's party a all newbie. day hey randy oh welcome hey erica we have a great community here everybody is so kind nancy krauss said i still got the error message nancy go to beinspiredmarket.net after this live Go to beinspiredmarket.net. No, I think she gets the error message. Is it only Nancy? Are you just getting it for the Facebook error? Because I think with the Facebook, if you're already following, but are you getting it also for the, you know, follow on Instagram, follow all those extra points? I don't know. So that would be the only one that I keep hearing is giving an error, and I have a feeling it's because you're already following it, but I'm not 100% sure. Hey, Rebecca's a newbie. Welcome, Welcome. Rebecca. Uh, okay, so I'm just taking... Random, light gray, because his beard's going to be gray. Eve is a newbie. Wow, lots hey, of newbies. Eve. Linda Payne said the screen just froze. It's not frozen on our end, Linda, so jump off and jump back on. Could be your internet. Tammy Howard just sent stars. Thank oh, you, Tammy. Oh, thanks, Tam Tammy. 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 How are you doing, Tammy? Tammy um, was hit by uh, the storm, the Laura storm. She was? 
Oh no, not no, the storm. I'm fired. sorry, California. She was fired. Fires, think, yeah. yes. Yeah, so hopefully, Tammy, you're doing good. I'm pretty sure I have the right Tammy. So happy you're on, Sue said. You made oh, my good. Night. Well, you know what, Sue? You made Carol's day when she <laughs> opened up that book. She talked about it in the beginning, so if you hopped on late, go check it out. Okay, so I think I'm going to do a couple more. So I, I love, I mean, you can paint. This is just a couple biscuits. I guess I could have had a couple ready for you, but... So I'm not going to say her name, mm -hmm. but she said first time on here, but call me Cookie because I really hate my real name. <laughs> okay, Cookie. Oh, that was a lot of pain. Welcome, Cookie. <laughs> Welcome. I like cookies. So this is the elephant, and I got a lot of pain. So like I said, his little beard's going to be gray. Thanks for the stars, Amy. Thanks, guys. Love your shirt. Amy, that shirt, and to everybody else, that shirt is in the market. You can find that at beinspiredmarket.net and then click the Amazon or the, uh, market, <laughs> click, the click the market. You're fired. Tab, click the market tab. <laughs> hey, Jenny Fitzgerald. Happy Friday. Oh, hey, Jenny. Jenny is one of my good friends from Chicago. We kind of miss Chicago. Oh, well, we not, miss it. Not but full time. We're hoping. Ooh, that was a happy accident. We're hoping to go in for the holidays. Yes, Jenny. we're hoping. So, Jenny, be prepared because we'll let you know you and kelly we're hoping to get there um for the holidays uh nancy sullivan said i use an 1800 watt blow dryer and it works great yes and it's safer than a heat gun yes i i i'm gonna admit <laughs> i am a gadget junkie when it comes like if like i'm the girl that watches on facebook what did i buy recently oh i'll tell you what i bought i haven't used it yet so tell me what you bought <laughs> It was a little gadget, and all it does is it goes around and it makes a circle. But it's four crafters. It took about four weeks to get. A compass? It's, it, but it's got a, like a little uh, knife around it. A compass? It's not a compass. A hey, com Dana. Dana said, hello, I've missed you all. Where have you been? <laughs> We're still on. Where Where's, have you been? Yeah. Are you getting notifications? Maybe it's time to set your notifications to be Inspired Market. Yes. Make sure you guys check out that video because I think the video is very helpful. And not just for myself, but any other crafter that you ever want to watch or any page that you follow. The Like I said, sometimes you could have it set and then Facebook says, nope. We're going to do it this way. Joe Lynn said, I was watching something else. Joe Lynn. She said, I was watching something else, and I noticed you came on. I switched right away. I was so surprised. <laughs> All right. Oh, I'm wow. almost done. The rest of it's going to come really easy. So. so this is all I'm doing. I'm giving him a gray beard. So I'm taking those biscuits from Harbor Freight, and I'm giving him a gray beard. And we're just going to really. And if it's a really hot mess with the biscuits, I got fur on the standby. <laughs> so. So you know how it goes. Sometimes it's a hit or miss. We've had more hits than misses, but still, you know, when you're crafting live, it's a little different. <laughs> it's a little different than when you're I'm not. I'm thinking, though, remember when we were discussing right before we went on about going from bottom up? I think you have to go from the top down. But... No, I okay. think, you, I think okay. you're right. Okay. I think you're right. You key. We were discussing the method Techniques. of putting... <laughs> The method of putting the biscuits on. So we do stand here sometimes, and I said Bill helps with. So <laughs> I can only imagine what you guys are thinking. How many biscuits is this lady going to paint? Yeah, why would she not paint those ahead <laughs> of time? Why would she not paint those ahead of time? For those people, we do have a replay button. <laughs> but don't jump off. We appreciate you guys here. All 521. Oh, nice. On a Friday night at 930 at night Eastern time. Perfect. Perfect. And I'm 191 comments behind. Honey. Kimberly Holland, okay. you're just going to have to watch. Uh, make sure you get your sides. A pop-up tonight, Brenda said? Yes, surprising. What you, what you making and I don't see any burnt umber. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't say that. I said that part. I thought about it because I'm kind of going with the fall theme, but I was like, no, I'll go gray. I'll go gray. Ooh, Doreen this said, uh, no, Doreen. I'm not okay. going to say your comment, Doreen Rose. Why? She said, did you see the new wood hole punch? It's on Amazon. It makes the holes to add the twine to hang things. It's pretty cool, Carol. <laughs> I will probably go check it out. It'll be here tomorrow. <laughs> I am such a junkie with that. I seriously am. And I haven't, it's like I see something and I'm like, ooh, I may use that, you know, and then I do or I don't, but it's just fun. I just like it. Just like, like the paper. I came across that rub, tra that, uh, rub, whatever. What did I just say? Rub off. 
scrub on transfer paper that we did yesterday. And I was like, I got to try it. I got to, I got to figure this out and I want to do it. Trish just called you out. She said, I love your projects, but why do you have to paint all of the biscuits? Paint one or two and have the rest done. I agree, Trish. We, I agree. We just thought of that right now, yeah, to be honest with I you, agree. Trish. I agree. So just hang tight. Or if you have to jump off, you can jump back on in about two minutes, and then she'll be ready to go. So sorry, Trish. I agree. I agree. No mad faces for that. Please, though. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm done. <laughs> Where did you get the wood pieces easy, easy. and how much do they cost? Joy, Joyce, Joy, <laughs> Joyce, they're called joining biscuits, wood joining biscuits. You can get them at Lowe's, Home Depot, probably Ace Hardware if you have one, and Harbor Freight. I think the ones she's using tonight are from Harbor Freight. Yes. And I think for Size the whole 20. package, I think they were like $7.99 or $8.99 for the whole package. But you can get a lot of different crafts out of it. And it's got a really cool tube you can put your paintbrushes in or something like that. In. Okay. All right, let me move this to the side. Get this to the side. This, this, this. We're good. We're good. We don't need the little thing again. Okay. And I got even smart with this, too. I got not one puppy pad, <laughs> but two. <laughs> I cracked myself up. <laughs> You're not laughing? No, because I'm reading comments. Brenda <laughs> said, where is the burnt umber? Phil's ah. right. And then she said, but if you're doing a Santa, he needs a gray or a white beard. Brenda, it's a did you not hear the beginning? It's a gnome, okay. and it's going to be a fall gnome. Yes. So, Brenda, you need to get your listening ears on. Okay. So, let's do... Okay. What I'm going to do is we're going to make his little hat. All right? So, the ladies in the club, I already shared this with them because we're making a cute... Um, little banner this weekend. So this is fabric that I got off of Etsy because we're making some fall banners in the club. If you're not familiar with the club, we are currently closed, but you can comment club and get on our waiting list because we have over 150 amazing ladies in there and it's just a fun group um, that we go live and just do fun things over there. So really cool fall fabric. So I picked this cutie to do his little hat. Isn't that cute? Look at that. But you can use any fabric you want. You can go to Joann's and, and use you fabric. You really could make a Santa gnome out of that. Yes, you, don't you could. You have to do fall. We're just doing fall. And then Carla and Carol both kind of said the same thing. Mm -hmm. If you stained or painted the biscuits before you came on, we would not get to spend as much time with you. Aw, thank so that you. Was very nice, Carla and Carol. So this is just fall fabric because he is going to be a fall gnome. I'm not moving to Christmas yet. All right? Kind of winging it with his hat. So. The way I thought, this is kind of, I mean, I don't want it up here. I want to give him somewhat of a decent hat. So I'm kind of going to that second little um, piece on what I'm measuring. Okay, you're kind of eyeballing it to begin with. But Please. I'm going to stuff it a little too. Joyce said, wow, look at all the followers. You got 660 followers. You, oh, nice. You guys are spreading that honey. We appreciate it. We do appreciate it. Okay, and I am going to give him a little brim. Let's see how I'm going to do that. Oop, which way am I going? Okay, so I'm just playing with it right now because I kind of want to give him that. Okay, I'm giving him a little give him a little more brim. How did I fold it last time? Oh, that's how I did it. Where was the fall fabric from in bulk? Um, Etsy. Etsy. She got it from Etsy. There we go. There we go. Okay. So I'm just eyeballing it. I'm going to eventually staple it to the back. So let me go get my stapler. She's going to get her staple gun. Staple Keep spreading gun. the honey. Thanks, guys. Okay, so I'm trying to think because I haven't done this before. So um, I got. Jump, I'm going to jump off and go check on the cat real quick. Okay. <laughs> so I watch comments. Okay, so I'm trying to just kind of figure out what I'm doing. And then for the nose, I just, I like these. These are actually like little legs. Um, so I kind of want to give it so we're going to be a little puffier. Trying to just feel my way before we do anything. So if I'm taking a little longer, sorry. Okay. I'm going to 
flip that and staple it. It's just going to help me keep, <laughs> my dog just got scared. <laughs> okay, let me get this one. Make sure I leave enough room to get his little nose under there. Because I didn't want it to be flat. And I'm sorry, I don't really see comments until Bill gets back. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Maybe a little looser. <laughs> All right. So just get your fabric in there first. Okay. This way, it kind of gives you that it no hot glue or anything like that yet. All right. And then with the back of it, you're going to, I'm going to leave mine. I'm not doing mine straight up. I'm going to do it a little floppier. So let me see how I'm going to do this. See, like it's going to be a little like floppy. So I'm just trying to see. I'm sorry, guys. I don't see comments. Honey. <laughs> All right. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going now what I'm going to do is hot glue. You can, uh, I don't know if you could sew this, so we're just going to hot glue this right now. Kind of get it in there, fold it up. There we go. So it's nice and neat. These strips are really nice. Like I said, I got them from Etsy, um, but you can get them at Joann's or anywhere else. Thanks for sticking around. <laughs> okay, let me get some hot glue. Now we're going to do this. We're going to fold this one back. We're going to put a little hot glue. Make it a little looser because I am going to put some stuffing in there. Okay, I'm not doing a pointy, not doing a pointy hat. We're going to make it a little slouchy. Boy, it's quiet without Bill, isn't it? <laughs> oh, all right. Okay, so now that's what I got. You guys see? I just put a little hot glue. That's what the front looks like. But I want to plump it up a little. I don't want the flat, all right? So what I'm going to do is I've got some of my polyfill. So I'm going to put some. Oops, let's flip them over. I'm going to flip them over. And I'm going to plump up his hat a little. I just didn't want it really flat. All right. So all I'm going to do, this should be closed. Oh, let me put a little more hot glue. Sorry. Get that on there. So thanks for hanging out with me. <laughs> uh, you love gnomes. I think I saw somebody said, I love gnomes. Okay. And then I'm going to put another staple right here. I just don't want my, I don't want my poly, ooh, am I out of staples? <laughs> no, Bill, out of staples. 911, people, 911. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes, I watched the crazy lady on uh, Be Inspired. She was falling apart. Okay, it'll be all good. All good. Thanks for the hearts and the stars, guys. <laughs> okay. I don't know what's going on with the cat. All right. So just make sure you're back. And I'm going to lean this against the wall so you can make it neat. Do what you want. Um, but now what I'm going to do is stuff just a little bit. Not maybe too much. Oh, I hear him coming back. Let me get something. Just take a ruler. And kind of stick it in there. Yeah, back. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> Thanks, honey, for coming back. Okay, and I see my seam is opening in the back here, so let me get that fixed I'm back. up. Her claw gets stuck in the carpet, so I had to uh, go release her. Help her out. And I'm still here. So, welcome back. I wouldn't leave you. You welcoming me back? <laughs> <laughs> I 
barely, I can't see a thing. I like see barely like, it's not even, not so like some of it I really see. Somebody said you have 811 people in. Oh, wow. Woo. Welcome everybody. Okay. If you're a newbie, comment newbie. Love right. to give you a shout out. Let me make sure. So we're just working on the hat right now. Like I said, this is all gnome themed this week because we just will have the essential stencils being released next week. So I'm super excited. Judy said, I've been so busy and catching you live for the first time in a while. I missed watching you. Hope Aww. you stay safe from all the storms. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Set your notifications, Judy. Okay. Everybody said, you're good, Carol. Good. Where did Bill go? Look at that. Get them all a little puffy. Did you get the nose in there? Not yet. I know, but did you double check? I did. Because I am kind of yeah, in did. charge of what's going on here. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, I needed you when you left. I was like, oh my gosh. Why? What happened? I couldn't see anything. People are talking to me and showing me hearts and stuff. Oh, Susan just said you're hilarious. <laughs> Corinne okay. said you're doing great. Carol, you could do this without Bill. <laughs> that I don't Where think. Where did Bill go, somebody said. <laughs> okay, let me get this up a little. Susie said you want me to, You uh, now I want to make my first gnome. This is fun. It's just, again, it's a Christmas tree and we're going to make them into a little gnome. Just and it, again, it inspires things. you guys to do something different. I think, because originally when I was thinking doing this, I was like, oh, just wrap it around and, you know, maybe make it tall and stuff. But honestly, when I was looking at it, I was like, no, it's got to be puffy. It's just got to be puffy. So that's what I got so far. Well, See I, how puffy it I is? I think the puffiness gives it a different dimension. Yes. So, so then what we're going to do is then, like I said, we're going to make sure... And then I'll play with that a little more later because I have some twine and stuff I'm going to put on him, which I don't know where my twine just went. Let me grab my jute. Never fails. Grab jute. Doreen said, you need to have a tablet by you, Carol, so you can see the comments too. Yeah, yeah I don't I expect them usually to leave. <laughs> no, and I could hear her meowing, so her, her she's okay. not declawed. And whenever, when she gets stuck in the carpet, then she just meows like crazy. So Okay. Now, I'm not putting his nose on. And the reason I'm not is because, see that space right there? So I'm going to get my biscuits all the way up there before I place his little nose. So see how much room I have? I'm going to leave enough so I can get a little biscuits. It's just going to, again, make it look like his whole beard. Again, if you don't like this, you technically can just put the nose here and put some fur and call it a day. So you don't have to do the biscuits. You can paint it, yeah. You can paint it. There's so much you can do. The I'm biscuits loving the just hat. give it a different dimension. Yes. I love the hat. It looks so warm. I, I hope it cools off here. I could go <laughs> for a little fall. Okay, so these are my biscuits. I painted these live with all of you. <laughs> so let's did get you, it on. Did you run out of staples? I did run out of staples. Because they said you had 911. Oh, she had a 911. I had a 911. Yeah, I was like, yeah. no comments. Um, Brenda missed me. Thank you, Brenda. Okay. So a beard is not perfect. So I'm not going to go perfectly across. I'm kind of doing it jagged just because a beard's not perfect. But if you would like to go perfectly across, absolutely. Go perfectly Ooh. across. Doreen, thank you for answering that comment before me. That's awesome. The other thing that I was going to do, actually, as I did this, let me get these biscuits off. Sorry, ladies, because I knew I was going to do that. I wanted to do, and I should have done it before, and I forgot. Because the biscuits don't all line up perfectly, I want to make sure I get some gray on the wood, just so it's not peeking through um, as, uh, you know, you know what I mean. <laughs> so let me, let me do this really quick. He's going to look so cute. And I can't wait for you guys. Again, make sure you guys are visiting the blog. There are some DIYs there for you guys to check out. It's where I'll write out all the instructions. And then make sure to follow us on Instagram. If you follow us on Instagram and you tag us, I get to see your projects. The tree is from Hobby Lobby. It is. Yep. And uh, Ashley, 
Mm-hmm. Ashley Marie uh-huh. just said it's 45 degrees where she's at. Whoa. My Ashley Marie? You're Ashley Marie. Ashley Ashley. Ashley in Ashley. Illinois? In Ill- well, I'm hoping she's in <laughs> Illinois. Well, maybe Ashley's she's in my Canada. daughter. Maybe so she's like... in Canada. I don't know. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Leslie said, I can't. I can't wait. Just make him, Carol. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I'm just putting the gray just again because I want to make sure in case some of the biscuits aren't showing through that we could. Uh... Oops. My glue is dripping. Ooh. Sharon said it's 33 degrees in Michigan. Oh, oh, my gosh. Oh, I missed 33. Well, maybe not 33. Not 33. But I missed the chili. Watch their glue. You just got it on your I hat. I know. I'm okay. <gasps> oh, I got it on my hat. So that's what I just said. That's where a bow goes. <laughs> no, it came right at. off. Ashley used to live in Florida. She wasn't a she wasn't a Florida weather fan for sure. I like the heat. I love the heat. Don't get me wrong. But, but by September, we're done. Yeah, by September, I'm done. Like December, when everybody else is getting snow and it's 75 yeah. or 72 and beautiful, yeah, I love it. But, yeah, but we works. might go back to Chicago for the holidays. So. Just Not right. We're going. Oh, we're going. <laughs> we're going. Just to get a little chill in. You know? But Bill is the biggest uh, procrastinator. He actually found flights, super cheap flights. So here's me. Hit the button. Hit it. Book it. We're done. We're going. No, I'm going to wait to see if it's over. <laughs> Do you know how many trips we have gone on or attempted to go on where Bill is a week before saying, hmm, they went up. Hmm, they went up. <laughs> We got plenty of time. <laughs> it was $123 round trip. Each. $123 round trip. I think, on, that's, uh, I think that's a pretty Southwest. good deal. So I, I think you were that, mixing up the colors. I am. He's going to have a gray streak right down the middle. Honey. I'm just asking <laughs> with my friends. So I'm again. I don't know why my glue gun is dripping so bad. So is I'm just hot? taking it and randomly putting his little beard wherever I want. No, but it doesn't usually do that. It doesn't usually do that. Kathy said, I just got tickets today for Chicago for Thanksgiving. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'll keep talking about it, I'm sure. We're going. Oh, somebody said, OMG, grab those. That's a good price. Yeah, that's what I said. That's a great price. Yeah, and it was Southwest, and it was direct. Out of Tampa, we don't have to go to Orlando, so we go into Tampa. I know I'm talking it up. I'm selling myself, ladies. I'm selling myself. He's so bad with that. Tampa to uh, Tampa. And my so brother's was... not like that, Joe. <laughs> no. We told my brother, so it was his anniversary. Brenda said, Bill, come on, book it. Yeah. <laughs> it was his anniversary, and uh, he was doing um, a getaway with his wife or something, and... Uh, <laughs> there's Bill. We're like saying, you know, maybe that's a good idea. Go back to where you got engaged and all this other stuff. And um, Bill goes, yeah, you don't have to book it or anything. Just tell her you're going. <laughs> and I'm like, Joe. And then sure enough, my brother's me. Um, he he booked it. <laughs> he booked it. So it's just funny because, yeah, with Bill, with Bill, actually, it was our one year. I'm sorry if I'm rambling. Am I missing questions? No, I got them. Um, it was our one year anniversary and he took me as a surprise. We were in Chicago and he took me down to, um, where was it? What, where was Luke Bryan? Um, United Center. The United Center. I didn't know where we were going. And um, long story short, he's taking me to this concert and buys the tickets. In the parking lot. In the parking lot. <laughs> There's an app. The app's called Game Time. Game so Time. A game Time app. And as the show starts, as the show is beginning to start, you want to know how cheap the, he is? The tickets get cheaper. So I bought the tickets basically right before we were walking in. But we were going either way. We were going either way, but we're thankful at least we got tickets. Okay, I'm going to lift this up, you guys. This is awesome. And you see, all I'm doing. Whose idea was that to start at the bottom and go up? Uh, mine. Oh, don't forget the nose. I, I know. Well, you got to have space for the nose. I know. I got it. Wow, those biscuits worked out perfect. Yeah. Carol, that is going to be super cute. Are you guys spreading the honey? <laughs> Come on. We love listening to you ramble, Kimberly. <laughs> no apologies needed. Sometimes I do ramble. Oh, Bill, you're hilarious. Somebody said, Kathy said, her tickets, I don't know where she's from. Kathy, that's the next question. Where are you flying out of? 
She said Southwest, she got $107 direct. See, that's what I'm holding out for. I know, but that's a little... One way was 40 bucks. It was $39 one way. Silly. To Chicago was $39. Silly. Silly. Leaving at a good time, too. It was like okay. leaving at like noon, getting into Chicago at like, what, 2 or something? Yeah. So that's perfect. Oh, cute. you got to put the nose on first. I know. Okay, I'm just reminding <laughs> Don't show him yet. You I'm not. I'm on. trying to get his nose in there. I'm trying to make sure he's all covered. So save some biscuits. So get your nose in there, but I'm not gluing my nose yet. Oh, my God. He is adorable. You guys can't see it, I don't think. Nope, they can't see it. Oh, my gosh. Just wait. Here, you killed it. If you're new and you didn't see last night's project, you need to watch last night's video after this. Before you go to bed, go watch she last night's video. Blue. Okay. This is really cute. Love cute, your shirt. Cute. I really need that shirt. Julie Jones, that shirt is in the market. It is in Be the market. Inspiredmarket.net. And aprons. Okay, let me make sure. Make sure. Thanks for the stars, Robin. Thanks, guys. Is that glue gun battery operated? No. It's uh, it's plugged cordless. in. It's cordless. Okay. Yeah, it's cordless. It's a cordless. Yep. Hold on, this one is being a little stubborn. Okay. I'm not flipping him yet. Let me get his little nose on there. You guys there. are saying he's adorable. You haven't even seen him yet. <laughs> are you gonna do a ribbon or a bow? Uh, what I'm gonna about do the something. End of his hat? You gotta do something at the end. I of his am. Hat. Okay, I am. We'll work on it. You're a little bossy. Oh. What about that for the end of the Yeah, day? I got it. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Wait till you guys see this. Okay, let me get... Trish I... said, I didn't even know you were on. Hello from Georgia. Thank you so much for your October stencil of the month. I was so hoping that you would choose the gnomes. Aww. Carol, you are awesome. Well, you know what, Trish? You're pretty awesome yourself. Thank you. Okay, so I'm getting my fabric. You got 857 <laughs> people. This is exciting. Okay. 10, me... 15 at night. Let Eastern me... Time. Book it, Bill, Carol said. Book it, make you right? happy. Haven't you heard? Happy wife, happy life. <laughs> yep. Mm. Okay. She so I'm just kind of pinching his little hat. Oh, my gosh, I'm so happy with it. Thanks for watching, Veronica, first timer. Hold on, let me get the... You know who you are. So the trick is with your... Um... Joyce said last night was the bomb. I love gnomes. Yes, this has been gnome week because we're... We want... We, uh... Did the collaborations with uh, Essential Stencils, and the design came out, so I'm super excited. Penny said, where do you get your ideas and your dreams? <laughs> I, Penny? It's just so crazy, because this, I, I do, like, once in a while, I'll get, oh, he's so cute. Hold on, I know you guys <laughs> want to see, but I'm trying to make sure, and we're not finished yet. Oh, my gosh. Here he is. <laughs> Look how cute he is. Okay, so let's give him. You nailed Do you guys it. like it? Do I see the hearts? You okay. nailed it. Okay, I think he looks really cute. Okay, let me give him. Let me get some jute. I see the hearts. Yay. All right. And like I said, if this isn't the look for you, just do everything I did and put fur. I actually have another one, which I may just do fur, so you guys can see both options. 906 people watching at 10 15 at night at eastern time so cute okay so i'm going to tie this uh rebecca said oh rebecca thanks for the downer she what'd said, she say bill didn't you hear today on the news the flights are going to be going back up <laughs> oh no <laughs> what's gonna happen now? oh my gosh let's roll the dice okay let me see i'm kind of taking an inspiration so i don't know if you guys saw our little sign from yesterday that was our live He's got a little acorn at the end of his little hat, so I thought that might be a little cute. So You don't have an acorn. No, that's a pine cone. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if you knew your fall accessories. <laughs> See what I put up with every day, ladies? Literally, we go for walks around our development, and she just picks up random things. She didn't pick those up, but I think she bought those. But we probably could have picked them up. But she'll just randomly pick stuff up like, what are you picking up? Oh, I want that leaf. For what? For what? Oh, I my gosh. I get the acorn and the pine cone. <laughs> but thanks for watching. And Brenda said, are you going to paint the sides of the beard? Oh, good point. Good point, Brenda. That's easy. <laughs> we'll touch that up at the end. Yeah. That's so sweet. Do your side. You, Carol. Are you going to paint the sides of the tree? We can. Yeah, we can, we paint can definitely. Gray. We can hit that. 
That's not the point, guys. Did you not see the front? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the stars, Corinne. Hold on. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do this little end here and get it tied. So let's see how we're going to do this. I think, okay. Oh. We're going to see if it's not too heavy. Doreen said, add two biscuits going the other way for his mustache under his nose. Ooh, oh, that would be cute. If I had more. More time. Okay. So I'm going to just take my jute. I don't know if this is going to work, but we'll see. It might be too heavy. Why not do it live? I know. No, it's not going to be too heavy. You don't think so? Hold no, on. Okay. Then it's set. So while that's setting, let that set. I got this little cute little sunflower Trisha, that I got. Yesterday was unbelievable. Ah. Time to dance, Bill. No, no dancing, Sandy. We're not at a thousand. <laughs> so this is it's a little sunflower. Let's get him on here. You're a hoot, Penny. <laughs> she said, Bill, you're a hoot and a half. A hoot right. and a hollering. Okay, let's see this set. I pick up acorns all the time. I do, too. You guys do randomly just pick up stuff off the street. <laughs> All right, uh, let's Amanda see. Amanda said, oh, Bill, I see stuff on the side of the road. Make my husband pull over. It might be something I can craft with. That's, yeah. Amanda, that's true. That's true. Okay, so. Oops. I'm more of a junk guy, so I like. I got I, a little anxious. Hold on. Let me... I, like looking at the, I like looking at the garbage stuff, and that's called junker necking. <laughs> junker necking. We used, we used to have, have a, a shirt yeah. that, that said that junker necking. When you whip your head around really fast. Oh, this one's not plugged garbage. in. Yeah. Don't right. you just tie it around or something? I'm trying to, for it to stay. So let me see if this is going to stay. And then we're going to finish it up. Sandy, uh, Stanford, that tree came from Hobby Lobby. No, she did not make the tree. It came from Hobby Lobby, but you could make the tree. That's pretty simple stuff. Yeah. If you have the right tools to cut the wood. But the tree came from Hobby Lobby. The shirt that she's wearing is at BeInspiredMarket.net. We also have aprons with the same design on there, plus a whole bunch of other shirts. We still have fall shirts in there, right? Yeah. Yeah. Fall shirts are till the end of the month, and then they're gone. Um. Oh my gosh! Let's put a little more glue, just to make sure. Just to make sure. So you guys, I hope you guys try this, and I hope you tag us. On Instagram. Kimberly said she keeps filling her husband's car with sticks, and he's like, what the heck do you keep collecting these doggone sticks for? Look how adorable. That is cute, Carol. Look how adorable. And, oh, I'm probably covering my mic. But you can do any kind of fabric. A gnome is a hat, a nose, and a beard. So any of you can do this. I have so much faith in you. Um, but I think he's super cute. I got his little... What is that called? Pine cone. <laughs> Pine cone at the end. You know, like I said, I think it helps stuffing his little hat. Look how adorable he is. You guys are going to be grabbing these Christmas trees, and you can do it for Christmas. So, again, grab two. Do one for fall and one for Christmas. But I think he's super, super cute. Cutie patootie, Diane That said. cutie patootie is going to need a name. Oh, yeah, we got to so, name him. I'm going to name him. I'm going to put him... Um, on the on the site you guys can name them but i think he came out super cute you could do your beard any color you want um it's just to inspire you you guys saw how i did it put the biscuits going up make sure you have enough room for his nose stuff the hat embellish it to your heart's desire so and use those biscuits that we keep buying harbor free <laughs> sandy said i love gnomes good susan thank you for the stars oh thanks guys you Thank guys you have been amazing, amazing. Yeah. A lot of hearts, so I'm so happy for that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this pop-up little live on a Friday night. Um, little, this this project. <laughs> Carol, you we, killed it with this project. We had fun. So I don't know where the other one is. It's well, going to show them what it started with and then what it ended up with, but I don't know where it right is. There. Where is it? Under the pumpkins. Oh. So that's what we started with. Grab these, and that's what we ended up with. So that I, looks so cool. And these were super cheap. These were only six nine ninety nine and forty percent off. So yeah, that's all perfect. right. I see all the hearts and Somebody everything. Somebody wanted to see last night's again. Oh, and then this one was last night. So we did this one last night, and then we did the beaded 
hanger and the bow. And then this was a really cool technique um, using rub off transfer paper. So, but check that video out too. You yep. guys, check it out. You guys Make got nothing sure else to do tonight. Make sure you guys have your notifications set. We had a super fun time. I'm, I hope you guys did too. Uh, we're supposed to be back on Tuesday. The ladies in the club, I will see you this weekend um, and just pop in and say hi. So, again, if you want to know about the club, comment club. Uh, we'll get you on the waiting list. And uh, that's it. We had fun. So, all right, guys, have a great evening. We'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys. Have bye. a good evening and be safe.